friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with one of these little wooden chests. It's like a little treasure chest made out of wood. And I'm going to go in with some Waverly Antique Wax and do a full coverage. Get everything nice and covered. And so now I'm going to take some of these pom poms. These were actually from Christmas time, but hey, they're red, so I'm going to use them. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is adhere this pom pom ribbon to the bottom edge of this little treasure chest. And I'll go all the way around to the other side. So completely around, just to give it that little bit of interest, something different, not the same old stuff, definitely different. <laughs> So now I'm going to take some burlap, it's like a burlap ribbon, but it's a real wide one and I'm just going to take a piece and snip off what I need, snip off the ends, that way it'll fit in there better because it's a little bit too wide. And I also remove all the frayed ends, get it all nice and cleaned up. Now I'm going to go in with these little glass bottles, these are the teeny tiny ones from the Dollar Tree. And these are the larger ones and then these are the mid-sized ones so yes they have three different sizes so i'm going to take three of the small ones and three of the mid-sized ones and three of the large ones and these things are so beautiful i love these glass bottles they're a great deal now i found these little wood picks with the little hearts on the ends and now with my little bottles i'm removing all of the cork tops and I'm going to take one of these stick pins and I'm going to poke a hole all the way through these cork tops. And I just take my time. I don't want to destroy the little cork tops because they are teeny tiny. So now that I made a hole all the way through, now I'm taking one of these picks, cut, cut it so it's just sticking up a little bit and kind of like push it in into the little cork top. And I do this to all of them. Look how adorable. Oh my goodness. They're just so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm taking one of these, what they're called ornaments. And it's just the word love. It's already painted red. So perfect. And I'm going to snip off a little bit of the E because it's a little bit too tight. And a little bit of the top as well. It's just a little bit too tight. But just snipping off these little pieces makes it perfect. Now I'm just going to add my hot glue and adhere this to the inside top of the little chest because we're making some love potions. Yes, love, gotta have some love potions for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go in with these glitters, fill them all up, which was a process. <laughs> and now I just made this cute little bow and I'm just going to adhere this to the front of the little chest just because. So now here are all my little bottles, nice and filled. And now I'm taking a variety of different stickers to place on my Love Potion bottles. And I could have made something with the Cricut, but these bottles are so tiny, this was good enough. And this is how they look, and a closer look at the final reveal. Today's video is a part of the Minis Challenge, and it is hosted by Corey over at Crafted by Corey. And the theme for today's video is Valentine's Day. So there's going to be lots of beautiful content in this playlist so make sure you hop on over to my description box at the end of my video and follow the playlist and see what everybody else has made super excited for DIY number two I'm going to use one of these wooden camera picture frames and I'm taking some painters tape and I'm going to cover the very top portion and the very bottom portion of this camera where the wood looks natural I want to leave it as is I will paint the rest of it because I'm not really wanting that look of the purple polka dot or the white polka dots on the purple it's cute but not for the look that I want so here let me remove this middle portion we're not going to need it right now and now I'm going to go in with some of the folk art home deco chalk paint in the color willow mist and give it that paint job remove the tape and now with a small detail brush I will go over the areas that didn't get the pink paint so I'm just going to cover this really quick just trying to be careful not to go too far 
And I also do the little snapshot button on the very top. Just a real light, light coat. So now that I have it the way I want it, and I did paint the back as well. Now I'm going to take my Sharpie and go along the lines just to help define them a little bit better. And now I'm going to take some Antique Wax by Waverly. And with my chunky, chippy brush, I'm going to just give it a nice, light dry brushing on it. Just a nice, light antique coat on it, like this. And I'll go over the whole thing, all the edges, and the front, and the sides, and the back. I wanted to give this little camera a little bit of an antique look, and the dry brushing does it. And if you go too heavy, use a little baby wipe, and that works. So now I'm taking some of these wooden stickers from the Dollar Tree, I'm taking one of these little lips, and I'm going to take the little word that says kiss me on it. And I'm going to take a paint marker. These are the paint markers that I have right now. And I like them. They're pretty nice. Removing all the little stickers on these little wood pieces. And paint them up with the paint markers. And now I'm going to go in with some more of the Meadow Mist paint. Just to dry brush a little bit. Because the paint was a little bit too red. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the wax also, the antique wax, just to give that, the, the kiss me portion, a little bit more interest. And I'm also going to paint the little wood round, it's like MVF round, in that same way, really, antique wax. So now I'll place my little round back inside. And I'm going to take the kiss me and put it inside the camera lens. And the little lips. I'll put these on the side, on the left side of the camera. And now I'm going to take some of these little hearts. They're on these clothespins, these little mini clothespins. And I'm just going to dry brush them with a little bit of the antique wax just to give it that interest. And they're a little bit difficult to remove from these clothespins. So I'm going to go in with my heat gun and kind of soften the glue. And with my little spatula, it just popped right off. Did you see it fly? <laughs> it just flew. But here it is, nice and pretty. And I'm just going to adhere two of these, one on each end of the camera. And I do the second one a little bit later. So here I'm going to create a quick little bow to go on the top of my camera just because. So here I'm just going to show you really quickly how I make my little bows. If you can follow. <laughs> I just, I had to speed it up. I've made so many bows and I dovetail the ends and I'm just going to adhere this to the top of the camera like this. Isn't that adorable? And now I'm going to take these two little buttons, a pink one and a little light brown one, and I'm going to adhere them on top of each other and put these two little buttons in the center of my bow just to give it a little bit more interest. And I think it's looking so cute. And there's my other heart. And I'm going to adhere some of this really pretty heart ribbon lace from the Dollar Tree. And I think it just makes it look so romantic. And here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal. For DIYs number three and number four, I'm going to take these two mini planters. They are usually used for succulents, but you can use them for anything. And I'm going to go in with the same willow mist and some mod podge until they look like this so they both got some mod podge and then the little camper got the willow mist as well so now for the camper i'm taking some more of this heart ribbon lace and i'm going to adhere it to the paint line that i created with the willow mist color paint and i'm just going to adhere this all the way around this planter now, if you don't recognize this lace, this ribbon lace, this is the one that I Mod Podged in my last video. And if you missed that, I'll put it up here in the cards. So you see how I did that, just to give the ribbon lace a little bit more thickness and then that way it won't be so flimsy because sometimes these lace pieces, they're a little bit flimsy. So I wanted something a little bit more 
with texture, a little bit more stiffness. So this works perfectly. And so now I'm going to finish adhering it to the front of this little camper. And I'm taking another, another little piece of this little heart, kind of fussy cutting it off and place it on the very front like this. So now I'm gonna take two more little pieces of hearts and I'm gonna place them where the windows are supposed to be. I didn't really, really like the way those windows looked. So I'm gonna place some of these pretty hearts. And now I'm pretty happy with it. And look how adorable, oh my goodness, it's so cute. Now with the truck, I only did the Mod Podge and I did that so it won't be so shiny. And I'm taking another little heart and I'm placing it in the front of the truck. And look at this, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. So now I'm taking some of these small styrofoam balls and I'm just going to adhere them to the insides of the planters. They fit pretty well in there without having to cut anything. So I'm just gonna add some hot glue and adhere them inside the planters like this. Now once they're in there, now I'm going to take some of these bamboo skewers and some of these glitter vase filler and I'm going to take some of these felt hearts and some of these other felt hearts as well. So it's a variety of different felt hearts and I'm going to create some cute little hearts to go on the camper. I want the little camper to carry some pretty hearts of different sizes but I want it to have a little bit of interest so I'm taking my bamboo skewer and poking through some of these wood filler balls in maybe three, three or so. And the doubled felt hearts will go on the end of the bamboo skewer. But first I gotta put these together. They didn't come together, they're part of a craft kit. So here I'm just placing those together with a little bit of hot glue. And here's where I'm adding a whole bunch of glue nice generous amount and placing the other heart back to back and opening the bottom and placing the bamboo skewer inside and then that way I can poke this in my styrofoam ball and I do enough to fill up the little camper which I think is about five that I made different sizes but look how adorable so the camper's done now for the little truck I'm gonna go in with these little roses and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number five, I'm gonna take these set of wooden houses. These are from Target. They were $3, so essentially a dollar each. Better than Dollar Tree. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And once that's dry, I'll do a little bit of the Willow Mist just to give it another bit of color. I'm not doing a full coverage, just kind of like a square. And I do this to all the houses all the way around. Just to give it a little bit more color, like this. Another background color. And now I'm going to go in with a ton of different hearts that I have. Some foam hearts, some felt hearts, some with words, some without words. And then some of these new ones with the gems and some of these cute little cupcakes and then this one here oh my goodness these are so adorable this is a table scatter and they're made out of felt but look at this love oh my goodness and the key oh these are so cute bunch of little pieces and some hearts with the keyhole in them oh i just can't it's just so cute and yes these are all felt and now it's time for the fun part and that is embellishing these little houses and i'm speeding it up because it took me a while but I wanted you guys to see how I made these how I did them and I just did random pieces here and there just whatever I thought would look cute and then the foam hearts I added them to the roof these here these are all little foam hearts and all the houses are going to be completely different and also super adorable and here's how they turned out and a closer look at the final reveal and for DIY number six, I'm going to take one of these wooden beaded garlands from the Dollar Tree, give it a little bit of an upgrade. So I'm taking the end where it's knotted and removing the knot, just undoing it, placing the knot a little higher 
so I can have some more slack of the jute twine and removing the knot at the end at the top of the heart opening it up because I want to add something to this little heart and this is so super simple all I'm going to do is place the wooden heart inside of one of these grapevine hearts and they actually fit in there pretty perfectly and secure it with a double knot like this here's where I'm pushing the heart inside the other heart and doing the double knot and once I get that nice and secure then I'll snip off any of the excess that's way too much so here it is and now I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue put it on the end wait for a second for it to cool down a little bit and then just kind of roll it with my fingers to make kind of like a point and now I'm just going to poke it back up into the first bead that way it's nice and secure and it won't be so you know so sloppy with pieces of jute twine sticking out it'll look nice and neat and I added a bow and this is how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number seven oh my goodness I didn't turn on the camera but this is so simple it's another upgrade all I did was take one of these heart trinket trays and I adhered some of the heart ribbon lace on the bottom portion of the trinket tray it's just simplicity at its best and look how elegant it looks what an upgrade and we're at the final reveal let me know what you guys think take a moment and thank Corey over at Crafted by Corey for hosting this monthly challenge. I always enjoy participating in it and please don't forget to follow the playlist that's in my description box below. There's a link there and enjoy the playlist and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and until my next video stay healthy, safe and strong and have a great great day. Bye bye!